So obviously you you, uh, you end up for you the catalyst to start writing and like I guess everyone kind of you said you had a pub deal that you had to get bought out of right. So what was like your first initial like real step into being in the quote unquote music industry? Like how did you get that initial pub deal? Like before we really knew who you were, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. I uh. Around like it was like 2019, 2020. That's when I met uh, my manager, okay. Edgar. And remember, he, t- he, t- he was like, "Bro, start writing." Yes. So when I met him, I was like making like ten hooks a week, bro. Like, were you still in Philly? Yeah, I was in my the same room, just in the at yeah, the crib at the crib. Make, so like, you're like cutting the hooks, sending them to him, and then he's yeah. he's doing his job, getting he's them out sending there. it out. Yeah, yeah. So it was like I was made like ten ten songs a week, and. Yeah. At that time, I was close to my man, producer, my producer, Denuso, and I started making a lot of beats on his. A lot of hooks on his beats. A lot of hooks on his beats. Yeah. And he was about to get signed. Mm. But the person he was about to sign to, they're like, who that on the hooks? Like, you know what I'm saying? He hard. So that's how, like, that's how that happened with my first pub deal type shit. And now when they... Ask who's that on the hook They they keep you on the hook Yeah they keep <laughs> They keep me now it's... Now they're like Oh that's the yeah, That's Friday Sure yeah We're gonna need that mm-hmm. <laughs> Come over here How in demand are you In terms of just like Artists trying to get you On their shit And how selective Are you being with that Because a lot of people Burn out pretty quick When it comes to Oversaturating Yeah it's like I look at every situation Like do it What do it do For both of us mm-hmm. And then they like Do it benefit me or sometimes about the music crew, like right, the song's yeah, amazing. The song amazing. I'm fucking with you, but it's like I'm down to work with whoever, bro. Like it just gotta make sense for the both of us. You know what I'm saying? Like at the same time, I'm giving my own, my own, my own music. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm building a. I already built a fan base. It's off. Probably harder for you to give away hooks at this point because you're like, I mean, that could that could be my shit. Like, yeah, but I, I I make so much music. There's got, more where that yeah, came from. Yeah, it's like I got like. 500 That I'm not using That's why I say With the great ones The great ones aren't greedy Because there's just more Where that yeah, came from Yeah it's more where that it's like, came yeah, from It's like yeah I'm gonna just write Another one tomorrow So go ahead take it Like yeah. if it's gonna help us out Like if it's gonna help nah, out The yeah. whole picture The program Like In like My music Like I, I say In the music I drop Like on my projects Lost in Melody and shit It's a very Distinctive sound Like mm-hmm. So like a lot of the shit I make, I'm like, dang, that's, that's not for me. I just give it to somebody else. You kind of know it doesn't you know what fit I'm in the yeah, album. It don't fit in my album. So mm-hmm. everything I make for me is like a hundred percent for me. Yeah. So like, say I'm working on an album, I make fourteen songs, and all fourteen songs go on the album. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not making, I'm not even finishing the song. Right. For me, and it, it's not. You know what I'm saying? So I got like five hundred. Just songs sitting on just a sitting drive like, That right I wouldn't away. drop right. That I could give somebody For sure It's a nice problem to have Nah for sure um, Who else, We know Chris Brown's on the album Anybody yeah. else on the album? I'm sure there's tons of features Let's be honest But can yeah. you share any? When is dropping? When do you want us to drop it Where you could talk about the features? <laughs> we could drop it whenever Oh uh When's it, When you when you dropping the track oh, yeah, list? Yeah, yeah I'm dropping the track Like a week before type shit So we good I got um I got the the veto on the track list. Shout out to him. Yeah, my man Fireboy. And by the way, David O is how you say his name. Uh, yeah, I say the veto. I, I just don't know why. I, I thought I I thought. Listen, I interviewed him, and I watched a bunch of interviews f- with him from Africa, and they were saying David O. For real? So when I said David O, he was like, "You said my name right," and I was David like, o. "Man," I was <laughs> like, "Yes," because <laughs> I thought it was Devito. Yeah, Devito, David O. That's you say Fireboy. Yeah, Fireboy. Chris Brown, I got Byron Messiah. Shout out to him. man, you got that fucking Afrobeat gods right now. That yeah, that yeah. Taliban's is going crazy right now. Yeah, I got them boys on there. Who else on there? And Maverick City. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Maverick. They're a gospel group. It's like a choir. Oh, fire! I okay. got them on the intro. They, it's crazy album. Any rappers? Nah, no rappers. Wow. I might I might throw some out on like a remix. Okay. I had I had some rappers I wanted on there, but you Didn't know what I'm saying? Time work and out. shit. Yeah, it's timing. Mm. Well, hopefully on like some remixes. That's crazy. Yeah, I like. So is is the Afrobeat song? Is everybody on the on the same song, or do you have multiple? I got multiple. Fire. Yeah, that's like that's like my um second home, like music wise. I ain't gonna cap because I'm Haitian, so that like Afrobeat feeling is just in me. 
It's the funnest genre. It's like finally there's music that people can dance to happening like on a mainstream level, you know? Yeah, for sure. It's like the best part of the club night is when like DJ goes to the Afro, Afro yeah. because people are having fun. Fun, yeah, this shit ain't about. It's like shout out to March Madness. I love it, but I've been hearing it for like 10 years. So it's, like, you know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, I could pop bottles to that, but like I'm not going to yeah. dance to it. Nah, for it. <laughs> um, so for you, like, uh, let's break that because you're one of the hook guys now. Who would you say is like a Mount Rushmore of the best hook men of all time? Who's the hook gods? My hook gods, Nate Dogg. Nate Dogg is, I feel like, undisputed top number one slot, right? Yeah, Nate Dogg. Then you, I'm going go to um, I'm go to Chris Brown. And of then course. I'm going to go to Ty Dollar. Shout out to Ty. And then I'm going to go to at the Ty. I'm gonna go to Sanford. Ooh. Yeah, like, not even though he did a lot of hooks, but. But the ones he the did. Ones he did. Fucked everybody's album up. Mm. Tip I'm on right now. Like, I think back to uh, the video of like when Wallow met him and like yeah, I he seen got that super shit. emotional. Yeah, and Wallow, favorite artist. And I just remember being like, damn, I really need to dive into this no, guy's he, fucking he, catalog if he's making grown man cry out here. He's like, making real music, bro. Like, a lot of bullshit be overshadowed, but. The music, the real music, be put in the back a lot nowadays. But when you tapping like a nigga like Sanford, mm-hmm. that shit special, bro. 